political representatives charged that it was a group of thugs from Colombo that attacked the people in Hambantara yesterday. Before the function started, they took youth in buses. Where did these people come from? Who initiated this fight? We can make very clear statements about this whole incident. Who brought 14 people from Brambukwella in vehicles? Who brought terrorist thugs, well-known thugs, from Mutwal? Under the guise of which minister's security detail? We can give details of all of this. It is very clear that Ranil Vikramasinghe is behind this. Ranil Vikramasinghe, who is responsible for the battle on the incident, wanted to make this a pool of blood. These are steps being taken to sell all the international economic centers of this country. We need to destroy this attempt at its birth. Even without allowing our peaceful Satyagraha to utter a single word, the police of the coalition government, thugs imported from Colombo and members of the underworld took measures to suppress our peaceful Satyagraha and we need not say anything new about the way they did it because the cameras of all these media institutions were able to capture the entire story. <laughs> Ranil Vikramasinghe, who tried to sell the heritage of this country on several occasions, once again tried to deprive us of our rightful ownership. Look at this. This is the manner in which monks who tried to engage in a peaceful satyagraha were beaten, wounded and their robes were burnt. This is a government that burnt the robes of Buddhist monks. A thug from Mutwal injured a Buddhist monk. How did he come here? He was an employee of... Who worked at Killeen Private Limited? Good governance has turned to thug governance. The whole country is set ablaze by this land scam. They are attacking the poor man with the land scam. It is the land of the poor that is being sold under the leadership of the Prime Minister. They say it is to create employment opportunities, but I don't think it will happen. They said they will set up a branch of Volkswagen in Kuliapite and create jobs. There are no such jobs. Now they brought in a Chinese company, but there won't be jobs even there. We say that this was a planned incident. When we look at the footage, we saw that the area opposite to where the function was held was tear gassed. They brought in trucks with tear gas and around 5,000 police officers with batons. When the area was being tear gassed, behind the tear gas, there were the thugs who came from Colombo. Look at the manner in which they acted with the support of the underworld and the blessings of the government. While engaging in a war that was similar to what we saw in the north, Rani Vikrama said while on stage that he would do various things. These are all lies. From the last election, it became very clear to us that <laughs> handles the underworld in Blumendahl. At this moment, the whole of the underworld in Colombo is active. We would like to ask the president, where are the suspects of the raid carried out by the customs? By... I informed our parliamentarians that thugs are being taken from Colombo. It was Suduwale Chope's son, a former municipal councillor from Colombo who organised the Suduwale team. There is no need to hide these things. I can very clearly give names. Chope's son. All this was organised by the finance minister, the person who handles the underworld in the whole of Colombo. There is no need to hide this. Everyone is scared to talk against... Today, because he is the one who handles the underworld. It is those in Colombo who care about this government. We have brought in development projects and investment and created many employment opportunities for the youth in the country and we are trying to take this country on the right path. When the joint gang is trying to stop these attempts, then we will do the needful irrespective of where the people come from. We will not care whether they are from Colombo or Colonnaval. Just because we have a good governance, it doesn't mean that we have to be spineless. If they are trying to destroy the country with protests and strikes every day, we have to stop that. What the government did yesterday was oppression. There were three teams from Colombo. They first started attacking with stones. When attempts were made for a peaceful protest, they should allow it. You cannot stop people from rising up when they are being denied of their lands. 15,000 acres is not a small amount. Colombo. 
They created unnecessary problems by taking thugs from Mootpol. They created great chaos last morning. Henchmen and thugs of government ministers were taken to the area on Friday night and terrorized the villagers. It is with this terrorizing that the people have been instigated. Suddenly, armored cars, police barricades, thousands of police officers have taken over the roads. Suddenly, the people have got scared. It is fair for the people to react to such things. When terror was spread with the police on one side and thugs on the other, it is natural for people to be instigated. That is what has happened. <laughs> Orders were obtained from courts, but they did not wait for the decision and continued with their program. The security units did not try to stop it. They had planned to prevent people from stopping it. The police had an opportunity to prevent this situation from arising. Heads of security forces and the IGP were there. We would like to express our protest for not doing this in a fair manner. The court order said do not enter the premises. No one needs to be told what happens when they break the law.